Now, how random is that? <laughs> I'm looking for Christmas socks or something. All right, YouTube friends, family, associates, and subscribers. Your girl is home. I'm sorry for making this video so late. Um, I did this haul yesterday. I did the video in store yesterday, February the 2nd. But today is February the 3rd. And you will see that on my receipt, February the 2nd, where I did the haul. I like to show that on the receipts, the dates. Um, so you guys know when I did it. But um, this ending part right here is February the 3rd, the next day. I was too tired to um, finish the video and show you guys UPC numbers. Now, starting off, I'm going to show you the guys, guys the items that don't have tags. So, um, these are technically not penny items. I don't know if they're a penny. These have been in the clearance section forever, and they never had tags on it in my store. They have a number there, so maybe she could have typed that in. I'm just not seeing that. But um, I've never seen tags on any of them as long as they've been in the clearance section. Oh, it's only that one with a number on it. Um, yep, this pair of socks had no tag. This bow, this marker, this, this, um, and this glass. No tag, which I know this gator thing wasn't a penny. But like I said, my stores gave it to me just because it didn't have a tag. And they're probably going to throw it away anyway. They do toss out a lot of items. Um in the dumpster that don't have tags. Some stores will put a piece of paper on it and just make up a price or look it up or something. But a lot of stores just throw them away, so they give them to me. Um, this here is a Christmas item. Essentially, this should have been a penny, but this was not a penny, guys. This rung up at 250, as you guys saw at the register. That's crazy. I saw my total like two something, and I was like, wait. No, I think he said 258, and I was like, how? I didn't have 258 items. And he scrolled up and he saw um, well, the manager came over and she saw that it was this basket, but she ended up giving it to me anyway, um, which I didn't really need it. Like it was just the basket. I just grabbed it because it was a penny. It was going to be donated anyway, maybe to a shelter and then they can use it next year, or give it to a child for Christmas. But, um, she was just like here. This was literally probably the only and last Christmas item she had in her store. So she didn't care. So these items right here, just my, including this curtain rod, not a penny item um because it just doesn't have a tag starting off i did find another thing of washcloths and you guys will see this um on the receipt hopefully on one of these receipts if i'm not missing a receipt so you don't know that i just went and got some stuff out of my penny haul and just made another video i ain't saying nobody in particularly do that because i don't really know but i like to show y'all receipts dates and everything so y'all know because i got some of these already so i just want you to know i didn't grab one that i already had but um, again, the last four of the UPC number is 3593. And I think y'all saw me find that in the store. I'm not sure. I was shocked to just find these random um, yellow dot clothing from summer, spring and summer of 2020. Um, so it's the yellow dot. You don't really need the UPC number. But if you do, it's there, 9901. But it's a yellow dot from 2020, and the date is right there. So that's summer of last year. So those items are a penny right now. Normally yellow and white dot from 2020. They penny together just like blue and gray dot is going to penny together. I think blue and gray dot right now is 50% off. This Twister um, juice drink was in the clearance section. Last on clearance at 90 cents. Now is it a penny? It is a penny. 9024, the last four of the UPC. Got a couple of these again, small ones. 0485 is the last four of these frames. Got more than a couple, three of them. This um, Choose Joy, like mirror picture thingy. The last four is 7718. And I guess you can hang it with that right there. This ruler. Last four is 8633. This spoon, this dirty, dirty spatula spoon thingy. The last four is 1428. 
These are Christmas items, of course. So if you see anything Christmas, you know it's a penny right now. 1668 for the book. 5636. This is an old penny item right here. Really, really old. And it's dirty. I'm probably going to throw this away. I don't even want to give that to anybody. Um, even though I can clean it off and stuff, but ew. 2472. And you guys, please be aware, when you're digging through these clearance sections, a lot of this stuff have been there for years. Um, many, many hands have been on the items. So please make sure, even though you're supposed to be washing your hands anyway, before this pandemic, anytime you're out in public and touching items, um, because everybody else is also touching those same items, you know, digging through stuff. And you don't know where their hands been, if they used the restroom and took a dump and went in there and got some on their hands, didn't wash their hands, et cetera, et cetera. So, and they're coming back out touching this stuff and then you're following behind them touching it. So please, the clearance section is really dirty. Even if you don't see dirt on items, it's there. But it just makes it look a lot worse when you can see it, like the ill. Um, I got these blocks. I wonder who I got these for. Me. No. Me. Yes, you. You like them? Yes. <laughs> what are they? Um, blocks. And that were mine. Over there, that sticky thing. She's been wanting that forever. Oh, that's supposed to be over here because that don't. I think this went with the kit or something. So you can have it now, Soleil. What are you going to do with these blocks? Um, build a tower. You're going to build a tower? Yes. The last four is 5925. These were a penny, of course. Everything here was a penny. <clears throat> you got that for me, too. Okay, I guess this can be for you too. You have a lot of balls though already. Last four six zero one nine. Um, more Christmas items. I didn't go to that one store where I showed you guys. You guys saw it on one of my other penny videos, and I was like, when Christmas pennies, I'm gonna know exactly where these pins are. They're as soon as you walk in the store, they're right there. I may go back later today. I don't know. Um, it's like four or five something. What time is it? Does anybody know? Alani, could you tell me what time it is or Q? Um, last four is 0287. But it's any of these sparkly silver pins with the um, angel on it. What time? 453. 4 Here's another Christmas item with a Christmas tag on it. Candy cane decoration, it says. Oh, maybe something went with this. I don't know. And it just left the bowl in there. Seven nine five nine. Crystal Harris Bling <clears throat> six one four four. Uh, this little yellow dot um, keychain gun says realistic sounds. Yeah, right. How realistic? Pretty sure it don't sound like mine. Probably goes pew pew. 0780. No, Q isn't holding that. You know, I don't let you guys play with guns, even if they're bright yellow. It's too many accidents happening. Or are they accidents? But kids getting shot by the police with guns in their hands. So I'm not even going to put y'all in that predicament. Last four is 0306. I've gotten a lot of these before. I better save this for Sky, aka Khalees, before she get on me about it. Another Christmas item stickers. Last four is 6060. Let me put all the Christmas stuff here. I was so excited about these plates, you guys. 12 paper plates. The Solo Savers. Eight and a half inch plates. Last four is 4649. I want to find some more so bad. And I think I poked the hole in there right there. Just from how I'm grabbing it right now. Um, we always need paper plates. I don't like doing dishes all the time. I'm sitting on this pillow on the floor and it seems like it is not helping. I got the two trucks. The UPC number is 5463. <laughs> Had to demonstrate. Got another truck. Yeah. The last four is five, four, six, three. Wait, is that the same? It's not five, four, six, three. Is 
Is it the same truck? Why do they look different on the front? Five, four, six, three. Hold on. Is that my eyes? Or maybe no? no. They're different trucks, guys, but they have the exact same UPC number. See, this one has a little thing right here on the front. And this is a dump truck with the thing on the back. Okay, I thought I was tripping, but it has the same exact UPC number, okay? Let's see what this one does. That's the same thing. Okay, these squished yum. <clears throat> Collect yum all. Whatever that is. Oh, here's the front. I guess you squish these. The last four is three three nine nine. This one, wood ornaments. The last four is five zero zero zero. This one is the rolled gauze. One sterile is in here. And the last four of this UPC number is 5303. Uh, and that's baby Sarai, you guys. here back there. Alani and Q are playing with her. She's so vocal now. She's like standing up. She's trying to walk and she just started almost crawling um, around Christmas. And she's trying to walk already. Um, the last four of this one is 8322. Two. Um, a bath bomb. And I found one um, in one store and another in another store. So, same UPC, 8322. Two. And then drum roll for my best yet, I believe. Uh, uh, uh. Butterscotch. Butterscotch. What's that song, y'all? Tootsie Roll song. How does it go? What you saying, Q? How you know that song? Let me see that Tootsie Roll. No, I was trying to think of the beginning of it. Not the to the left, to the left, to the right, to the right. Oh, cotton candy, so we just go. But we got butterscotch. <laughs> Nestle Toll House. I have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14, 16, 18, 20. 20 of these Butterscot Nestle morsels. Okay. Um, I guess this is the only one that was following Christmas. So, but make sure you stand because one of your stores could be different. They could have put it in the system at one of your stores um, mag and it could come up a penny. So grab these as soon as you see them. But scan the other ones as well. Don't don't sit there and um, see these and start scanning the chocolate chip and something else. And then I come up, up on the aisle behind you and start grabbing them. And then you want to say, oh, those are mine. Baby, they were on the shelf. Those are yours. You should have had them in your cart. But I will share. So I'm not that mean. But I'm just saying everybody's not going to be like that. So if you see some of these items and you saw them in my video and you know that they're supposed to be a penny grab them and put them in your cart you can scan after that especially if it's a lot like this okay unless you know there's really nobody else in the store and you can scan and pull it up pretty fast the last four of this one is seven three zero three and guys please 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 that's why it's important to watch the whole video um i know some of you guys don't sit and watch the whole video which is perfectly fine because you may not be interested in certain parts of the video the beginning the middle the end i don't know um, so I know a lot of you guys fast forward <clears throat> because I do watch my analytics. I watch how long some of you watch the video. Some of you watch three minutes. Some of you watch um, five minutes, but nobody watches the whole video. I look at my analytics every day. I see where you guys are from, from the UK. I have people from Australia watching me. Shout out to you guys too, um, especially um, in the UK. <clears throat> um, and a lot of you guys here in the United States, I appreciate your loyal support. I really do. But my point that I was going to make is it's important to kind of watch the whole video. Um, if you want to skip through it, that's fine. But try not to skip too much um, because I'm giving vital information. Now, when you go to Dollar General, because I keep getting this question and I keep getting 
comment saying that I'm not finding any pennies. It is really impossible, hun. If you're not staying in the store as long as I am, that could be why. And maybe you aren't able to stay in the store that long. Maybe you work or maybe you just have places to be. Or I don't know what the reason may be. But I'm in the store at least two to three hours in each store. Unless I just find a whole bunch of stuff and I just have time to go to the next store. And it's quick for some reason. And that's when I'm by myself. Um, you walk up to the store. This is what I do. I do my routine every time. I go to settings on my phone. Then I go to Wi-Fi on my phone. I click on that. Then the closer I get to the front door, DG customer will pop up. Then you're going to click on DG customer. Once you click on DG customer, some stores, it'll take you to the next page. So don't exit out quickly. Don't hit your home button right away. Wait a few seconds, maybe about 10 seconds after you hit DG customer. Because sometimes another page will pop up and then you'll have to click continue to internet. And then after that, it'll be loading. It's not going to show you it's loading. But then another page is going to come up and then you click done. After you do that, um, you go into the app and go to um, location and type in whatever city you're in. So if you're in Orlando, Florida, you're going to type in Orlando if you don't know the address. This is in any case you don't know the address. And I go to a lot of stores, so I don't know the address. And sometimes I ask the cashier, hey, what city is this? If I don't know or what's your zip code here? You could type in the city, the zip code, or the address. But you could type in Orlando in the top and hit search. And a ton of stores are going to come up with different, um, some's going to say 7.5 miles away, 20 miles away. Of course, you're going to click on the one that says 0, 0.0 miles away because that's the one that you're currently standing in. And after you click on that one that says 0, 0.0 miles away, you're going to click on make this my store. It's going to be in a square rectangular box down there. You're going to click on make this my store. And then you're going to click home and then click the barcode and start scanning. You have to do that in each store you go in. Because for instance, if this is five bucks at my store, right? And then I go to another store up the street, but I still have my store in there as make this my store as my preferred store. I still have my store, just say Orlando, Florida. I just still have Orlando, Florida in there that whatever the address is in my Dollar General app. But I go to Jacksonville, Florida and scan this item with my phone. It's gonna come up $5. And the next person comes behind me and scan it, it comes up a penny. Guess why? Cause it's a penny in Jacksonville, but it's $5 in Orlando. It hasn't hit a penny in Jacksonville yet. It's important to change that location. You guys don't listen to me, some of you, and I know some of you are new and some of you not, and I think I'm probably the only penny shopper on YouTube that takes the time to explain this to you guys because I think it's really important. I used to make these same mistakes. I did it in my, um, I think my first uh, remodel that I did. I didn't change the location, and I was scanning everything, and I'm like, I seen this lady with all the cotton nail wipes, and I'm like, how did you get those? I just scanned those, those were full price. She had the location of that store in the app <laughs> as her preferred store. And they were a penny, but they were a regular price at every other store because this store was remodeling. But even in a regular Dollar General, that's not remodeling. This can happen. It could be $5 in Orlando and a penny in Jacksonville. But if I have Orlando's address set as my preferred store in the app, it's going to come up as $5 because I have that store in the app. So it's it's telling me the price it is at my store, at my preferred store that I have picked in the app. But if I change that address in there to Jacksonville, to that address, it's going to come up one penny, which it's supposed to. So again, go to settings, go to Wi-Fi, DG customer. And if that other screen doesn't come up where you have to hit um, connect to internet and done after DG customer, you're connected already to their Wi-Fi, and then you go into your app and change the location of the store. Okay. Just that simple. I promise you guys. Um, there was something else I wanted to say. Oh, what was it? Um, oh, and I met a lady, um, that she watches another, um, big penny person on YouTube. Um, that I don't watch and they don't watch me either, but it's fine. Um, and she was telling me she's new to it. She hasn't found any pennies yet. Um, I was going to help her, but I had already gotten the few little pennies that they had left and I knew they didn't have anything else cause I had been in there forever. Um, but 
I was telling her in that particular store, because I do this all the time, so I've been in these stores over and over, it's about three of them that I barely get Wi-Fi in. And that store was one of them. And I told her after not scanning for a couple minutes, whether it's two minutes or more, you're gonna it's gonna disconnect you from the Wi-Fi. So when you're scanning and it's coming up error, please go back and make sure you're still connected to Wi-Fi. Go back to settings and Wi-Fi. You may be surprised. You go back there and it says not connected. And you're like, wait, but I already connected. And a lot of those stores that have bad reception, it's gonna automatically disconnect you, especially if you're not scanning, 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 like back to back. If I scan this and scan this and scan this, scan this, scan this, all back to back, and for some reason it stays connected. But if I pause and my screensaver goes off on my phone for a while and I'm walking around the store looking, then I pull back up the app and start scanning and it's going to say error or un unavailable, or unable to read, whatever it says. It's going to give you an error message. Go back to settings and Wi-Fi on your phone and it's going to say not connected. I guarantee you that's probably the issue. Okay? And you just have to re keep reconnecting the Wi-Fi. It's worth it if you want to find these penny items. But I know it sucks in stores like that that has bad service. It really does. So I choose to go to those stores last because I'm not about to drain my battery, you know, to deal with that. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys this penny. I probably did. But the last four is 6019 for this ball. I think I did. Yeah, because Soleil was asking for it. So here's my receipts, guys. <clears throat> This one has the angel pen, the nutcracker pen. I had two nutcracker pens. Um, oh, no, the, I only had one, but I gave it to the girl. So you guys only saw the silver one. I gave it to the cashier. And the mini box stripes in the night before Christmas. This is the mini box and the book right there. All right, on to the next receipt. Wooden blocks. That's um, the 35 piece right there. 35 piece wooden block. That's the first one on this receipt. <clears throat> And all the Nestle butterscotch morsels. One penny, one penny. My total sale before tax was 17 cents. And no tax on this one, actually. So my total out-of-pocket out of was 17 cents. And this was on February the 2nd, 2021, which was yesterday. Soleil's birthday is in 10 days. Soleil will be four on February 12th. Our dad's birthday was February 1st. Um, dream on the shorts, I guess. Yeah, that's the yellow dot shorts. Um, uh, the ruler total sale on this one 12 cents with tax. Yep, they were paid enough to charge me one penny in tax, and my total out of, po total out of pocket was 13 cents. Why can't I talk or say out of pocket? February 2nd, 2021. And here is the last receipt. And this is a lot of the Nestle butterscotch morsels. Foam ball. F I th yeah, I think that's that. It says foam ball right after the last, um, no, the last Nestle. It has Twister, the drink up under there. That's that. The frames. The squishy yum thing. Um, bling something, bling, bling, bling. Oh, that's the little um, pink thing. I think the art, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's what that was. So I think it was because of the stuff that I had with no tags, because I only got one of the blings, but um, they just scanned this four times to charge me four cents for those items there. So that's how it was. So that is it, guys. Of course, it's probably gonna be a part one and part two, because this right here is 23 minutes alone, just um, at my home doing the after video showing the upc number so ooh, it's gonna be long um all right guys please subscribe if you haven't already please give the video a thumbs up if you like it if you dislike it hell give it a thumbs down just give your girl some type of feedback to let me know how i'm doing please um comment below and engage with me and also comment below if you have any um questions and i will try to answer them to the best of my ability please tell a friend to tell a friend about shade with the receipts and please share, 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 share if you dare, honey. honey. <laughs> and I will see you guys on the next video. Toodles. 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 Bring her here and put her in the video. Oh, Lord. He put my baby in there. She going to see the light and be like, say toodles. It's all right. Say toodles. Oh, now you don't want to smile, drool face. Drool face with all this milk on your onesie. She's teasing, y'all. Turn
sure I don't want to talk. Toodles. All right, Soleil. You always in the videos. See ya. You get her. See ya.